In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a business letterhead in Microsoft Word. And this is exactly what we will achieve by the end of this tutorial. So if you want to create a business letterhead like this, keep watching. Have an open Word, the first thing I'm going to do is design the header of the letterhead. To get started, I click on Insert. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a shape. On the flowchart, I'm going to select Manual Input. I'll just go ahead and draw it like this. Next, I'll go ahead and rotate it to left 90 degrees. I'll resize it and I'm going to place it right here. The next thing I do is duplicate this so I can easily go over to home, copy and paste. I'll place it right on the first one and I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size. So I hold it from here drag it inside a bit like this then i hold from bottom like this take note the bottom part is going to be lesser than the left side what i'm going to do is select all the two shapes so i hold down ctrl key and click on the one behind next i duplicate the shapes together so i click on copy paste then i take it right here don't worry i'll reposition them so I select the one behind and I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. Just choose flip horizontal. I'll make sure it is positioned well. Like this. I'll do the same thing to this one. The next thing I do is go over to insert shapes and I'm going to select rectangle. I draw it from here. And I'll make sure I send the right angle behind the first two shapes on top. So what I can do is select this shape, this small one right here. Then I click on bring forward. I do the same thing here. Bring forward. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill them with colors. But before I do that, I want to insert my logo. So I go over to insert pictures, this device. So that I'll pick the colors from the logo I'll be inserting. This is the logo I'm going to use. I select it and I click on insert. For now, don't worry about the position. We will deal with that later. I just want to have a visual of it so that I choose my colors from it. So first of all, I select the shapes on top. I just select the first one, hold down control key on the keyboard. Then I click on the second one. I go to shape format and the shape field. This is the color I'm going to use, which is closer to the text right here. So I select it. I don't need the outline. So I go over to shape outline and I say no outline. Next, I select the rectangular shape. I go over to shape fill and I'm going to choose the dark green, which is this one. I don't need the outline. So I select no outline. Finally, I select the shapes behind like this. I go over to shape fill and this time around, I'm going to use this gray color. Or I can increase it a bit maybe to this one then i'll go ahead and choose no outline awesome i need a copy of the same header as my footer so what i do is select all the shapes so i click on this one hold down control key on the keyboard select the one behind the rectangular shape this one and that then i go over to copy click on paste to have a duplicate i just move it down Now let me rearrange them. So I select the one behind. I go over to shape format, rotate, then I choose flip vertical. I select this as well, flip vertical. Next, I select this, flip vertical, flip vertical. This one is still selected. I hold down control key on the keyboard and select this one so that I'll move them together. I select the rectangular shape then I take it down now I'm going to select all the shapes together again so the rectangular shape is still selected I hold down control key on the keyboard and select the rest of the shapes and I'm going to go ahead and move it up like this next thing I do is deselect them then I select the rectangular shape to have a copy of it so I click on copy paste 
and make sure it is aligned very well i close the space up and i'm going to give this a different shading of green so i go over to shape format shape fill and i'm going to go ahead and use this green so the footer is done now let's go ahead and finish up with the design of the header section you see that the image i will not be able to move it so i make sure it is selected then i go over to picture format i click on wrap text then i say in front of text with this i'll be able to move it from one location to another i'm going to go ahead and reduce the size like this i'll place it in the middle what i can also do is go over to align then i choose align center so that i'll be rest assured that it's in the middle of my page i can take it up a bit take note my logo is having the name of the company as part of it so i don't really need to add a different text for the name of my company in your case if you don't have the text as part of the logo you can easily go over to insert then you go ahead and insert a new text box i choose draw text box then i can easily draw it whichever location i want then i go ahead and enter the name of my company in my case i have the text as part of my logo so i don't really need to add a text box i take it off next i go over to insert shapes and i'll pick a line i draw it from here i want a straight line so i hold down shift key on the keyboard so that i will get a perfect straight line like this i'm going to increase the weight of the line to one and a half i take it up a bit i will make sure it is centered so i go to align then i choose align center next i go back to shape outline and i'm going to go ahead and choose this green color next i'll have a duplicate of the line at the footer part so i just go to home copy paste then i move it down like this i will make sure it is centered awesome i'm going to go ahead and add my contact details here below so what i'm going to do is go over to insert text box draw text box i draw the first one right here i make sure it is aligned to right then i enter my phone number next i go over to text box tools I click on text box shape fill i say no fill shape outline no outline i select the text box then i take it up a bit i'm going to go ahead and have a duplicate of it and also make sure it is in straight line so what i do is select the text box hold down ctrl plus shift keys on the keyboard then i go down a bit to have a duplicate and also in a straight line in here i enter email similarly i need these two text boxes right here so the first one is already selected i hold down ctrl key on the keyboard to select the second one now i want to duplicate them so i hold ctrl plus shift keys on the keyboard i click on them then i drag it to this location so i'll have a duplicate and they will all be in straight line i'll align them to left this time around Then I go ahead and enter in my text. The next thing I'm going to do is add some icons to represent the text I have here. First of all, I deselect the text box. Then I go over to insert. I choose icons. For you to be able to use the icon feature, you will need to have an internet connection. The first one I have is phone. I'll use this one. I can decide to insert them one after the other. Or I can search for all the icons I want and insert them at once. Next, I search for email. I'll use this. Next, I search for web or website. And I'm going to use this. Finally, I have location. I'll go ahead and use this. Then I click on insert. You see that I have four attached to insert button, meaning I have four icons to be inserted. I insert and they will all appear here. At the moment i will not be able to move any of them as you can see it will be difficult so what i can do is select maybe the first one and the graphics format i go over to wrap text then i choose in front of text with this i'll be able to move it from one location to another as you can see 
so i'll do the same thing to the rest of them now i'm going to go ahead and give all of them the same dimension at the moment each one of them is being set to one inch by one inch so i can easily decrease it maybe to 0 0.3 inches i can do the same thing to this one I can select all of them at once then I'm going to go ahead and change the fill color so I go over to graphics fill and I'll choose this green I'll just drag all of them together by selecting one so the first one is going to be phone I place it right here followed by email website to come here and finally location next thing you should do is make sure they are being aligned well so i'll just quickly align them now all is set the next thing i want to do is insert text boxes for the main body of the letterhead so i go over to insert text box draw text box the first one i'm going to do is get recipient address hit enter i can reduce the line spacing i select them up home line spacing i choose line spacing options the after you see that I set to 8PT, I'll reduce it to 0, then I click on OK. I'll reduce the height of the text box. I don't need the outline, so I go over to text box, then I choose no outline. I can also choose no shape field so that there wouldn't be any background color. Next, I'll go ahead and duplicate the text box. So I'll hold down Ctrl plus Shift keys on the keyboard, then I can click and drag to have it in a straight line like this i remove the text from here then i'll enter date maybe i can align it to the right then i reduce the height of the text box the date can be bold whichever way you want it and finally i insert a bigger text box starting from here going down to the bottom where i have the main body of the letterhead i'll just enter some random text sincerely yours hit enter twice then i bring the name of the writer executive director I'll increase the font size of the writer so they can easily insert their signature right here. I'll just use the name again and maybe change the font to a stylish font. So I'll go over to font. This is not really necessary. You don't need to follow me here. Maybe this will do. So I'll go over to text box. Take note is still selected. I say no feel and then no outline your one thing you will notice is that the recipient address and the body is not in line so i select back this and i'm going to go ahead and open it up so that the text will be in the same line perfect and now i am done designing my letterhead so that's it on how you can design a business letterhead using microsoft word in the meantime, stick around to watch another letterhead design ideas from the channel. Keep watching and I'll see you inside any of the videos.